it is Sunday afternoon and I'm gonna get a run in probably only like four miles on the weekends I try to get longer runs in but I've been trying on Sundays to just do like nothing but yesterday yesterday I worked a lot had a long day and I was just like just exhausted so I did like a one and a half two mile run yesterday just a little warm-up and then today I'm gonna knock out I mean usually on the weekend I do like six plus but um, I just want to chill so um, it's nice because on the weekends of course I have more time because during the week I don't I don't have time for long runs usually if I can fit one in then I, I'll try to do it but um, since I have more time I like to stretch actively stretch use the Theragun a little bit before my runs and I run significantly better um, and so a lot of times during the week I I'm like on a time crunch so I just get out there and, and do it and I feel I don't feel the best so today I took time to stretch use the Theragun on mostly my quads and my hip flexors because those get that's just like what bugs me the most from running um, and then my calves um, and the bottom of my feet that's a uh, that's one people really miss out on bottom of your feet uh, is huge. I always make sure I, I take care of the bottom of my feet. So going to get this run in. Today's not too bad heat wise, even though it feels because the sun is, there's no clouds in the sky. So the sun is beating down. Um, but yeah, it's only 72, not too humid today. So yeah, it's going to be good. A little strong head, headstrong wind, uh, which I don't enjoy, but let's get to it. Cause I don't It was actually a perfect day for a run because it was it was hot it was definitely hot but the where is the humidity the humi humidity wasn't bad so when it's like hot and humid I am not a fan of that so the humidity was only 44% which it didn't feel like that at all beautiful day for running it was a beautiful run and when I focus so for me when I run I do not really focus on my um, my mile times, my mile splits, I don't care because it's generally the same at this point anyways. Um, I care more, okay, get this off of here. I care more about my heart rate. And so like on these easy long runs, I try to keep my heart rate below 150. There's some like equation, you take your age minus 180, I think it is, to find like, I can't remember, I can't remember, I can't think. I can't remember what it's called, but um, for just like, just like normal paced, slow paced runs, I like to keep my heart rate at 150 or below that. So today I averaged, let's see what it's say, 135. 135, so that was pretty good. And my, my, um, my mile time was 920, which is uh, not fast, not slow. So it felt very good, I think. I think the stretching is really honestly what, uh, what helped. And a lot of times when I run, I listen to um, I usually listen to podcasts. Uh, today I listen to music, but usually I listen to podcasts. Don't have my phone on me. It is beautiful. Nothing to distract me, but rain outside. And I like to go to places where I know there's where I know there's not a lot of people. Um, when I was a newbie, <laughs> I'm still a newbie to running. Um, I would go to like I would go to trails but there'd be so many people on them that it just it's a it's more annoying than anything because you're constantly having to be aware or worried about people passing you on bikes passing runners passing you and then passing other people and it's just like it gets so old so and plus like <laughs> no offense but i don't want to be around a bunch of people like i just want to clear my mind go for a run and yeah i just don't want there to be a whole lot of distractions it's nice to see runners out and about here every once in a while but um, not like some of these trails are just ridiculous but I know there's some trails I like to go to that aren't as populated 
and I love running on trails because there's always like beautiful scenery but when there's too many people it is just it it really kills it really kills the vibe so now I'm gonna go home hydrate like when I go for these long runs especially on a hot day there's nothing more I want to do than just like drink a lot of liquids and eat fruit like I really crave fruit like watermelon and apples <laughs> when I go for for long runs that's why I think I think running is a very healthy habit and it's what has really helped me um, even change the way I eat like when I started running I I craved healthier healthier foods foods that fueled me a lot more than I ever did and so now it's just kind of changed the way I eat so I think implementing running uh, creates not not only like healthy habits for your health um, as in fitness health but also like your nutritional health because it you change the way you think about food because now I look at food as a way to fuel me I don't eat food because like I'm like trying to get some craving out of the way which is how it used to be in the past which is very unhealthy in my opinion but now I just eat to like fuel me and that's all I really care I'm not so like food focused like I eat when I'm hungry I don't track macros I haven't tracked macros for geez like years now and it is I feel like this is the healthiest I have ever ever been ever felt probably ever looked to be honest so I'm a and I'm I am in a very good place mentally and physically and it feels it feels very good <laughs> in Woodbury where I live there's like m nine million roundabouts it's like a big uh, joke here I personally like roundabouts I think they're a little bit more efficient but um, <laughs> there's a lot of them there is a lot of them there's a stretch here on this road where I literally think there's like ten This is my favorite thing ever. Just watch. Taking a nap? Yes, you are. Just grab a puppy thing. Aww. Take a good nap? Should we go back upstairs? Yeah. Is it a good nap? Yeah. Is it a good nap? Maybe you want to go on a walk with us? Yeah. Is it a good spot to pause your game? Okay. How was your run, babe? Excellent. How's the game? Jeez, you're looking rough. <laughs> Are you passing it? He's been playing this for like two days straight. Right here, all. Right, buddy? Is he not paying attention to you? How can he not? You're so cute. Should we go for a walk, buddy? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, let's go for a walk. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, is that a good walk, buddy? Is that a good walk? Yeah, you go boy. Yeah. Yeah, you go boy. So you can just <sighs> Swiffer. That watermelon.
So he got the acai bowl. Mm -hmm. Delicious. I'm actually really jealous. Mango. Mango acai. With some pineapple, banana, strawberries. Yeah, that's good. Well, it's plenty of orange juice. And then I got the watermelon smoothie. Ooh, with banana in it. So good. And then I got the watermelon. I love any watermelon. Oh, okay. <laughs> Play her stuff. Hey, buddy. What else is in there? Get it on. Let me see. Hmm. So I wonder if I absorb this more than the other creatine. The other creatine kind of goes right through me. You're going to get that? Try it. Well, then if you get that, I'm just going to get the natural stuff. Okay. Mix it together. Okay. Is that what you want, sour water on No. Oh, you got mango? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, what is it? Oh, it's natty. Nah, it's natty. Yeah, I'll get this. Currently, we're picking up some deep dish pizza from uh, this Pezzo Pizzeria. It's so, it is very good. And we got wings and a salad. So, that is how we are going to end the night. What do we got, buddy? He's got the good. Oh yeah. my god. Thanks, dude. Yep. This is the deep dish I was talking about. And it is thick. Like this is, was heavy. We got the Caesar salad. Their salad is the best. And then their, their wings. But the only bad thing is we have to... Oh, God. Oh, God. This isn't too bad. Hero got his food, too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, show the people what Hero gets. He's got some rice. Buffalo, sweet potato, a little broccoli, nothing but the best. Okay, that's good. And then I'll cut this in half. Oh my. Oh yeah. You want that one? Hmm. I'll take that one. Yeah, look at that thing. Look how thick it is. Here is that. Are you done? Wow, he already ate all of that. <laughs> Buddy. You want some pizza, don't you? That boy can eat. See, look at look at how thick this thing is. She thick. I didn't think I'd like the uh um Sauce on top, damn it, spilled. But it is delightful. <laughs> Here, oh, buddy. Knowing the limits of Not good enough? Hmm? Not good enough? All right, guys, it is the next day. It is Monday, the start of the week. I'm going to end the video out here. I already got my workout done for the day. Having some breakfast right now, watching some YouTube, and then um, I'm also, I also write 
my weekly and daily things to get done um, on the iPad. It really helps me. One, with time management. That's one of my previous vlogs. Go check it out if you have not seen it. Um, but just to stay, just to get stuff done. So, yeah, I'm going to end the video out here. Hope you guys did enjoy it. A little uh, Sunday, fun day, not really though. It was my one day off, uh, which kind of sucks. I was talking to a friend where I'm like, <sighs> Saturday. I won't work Saturdays forever, but for now, um... Not that I have to, but they're busy days for me, so it just sucks because I really don't get, um, I just get one day off and we have to do errands and stuff, but it's all good. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.